welcome to the Hollywood podcast. That's with two paws. Um, we're here with a special guest today. You might notice that Shannon's not here. Um, she's up to things, but I'm here and I'm here with Jillian. Woohoo, Jillian, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Sydney's friend. I am still a student, but I do all fun film stuff still. Um, I'm studying at, <laughs> well, yeah, Sydney and Shannon's alma mater, uh, Cornell <laughs> University. I'm an engineering student, unlike Sydney and Shannon, who were film students. Um, and You're I know Sydney an honorary. Because... You're an honorary film student. <laughs> Thank you. I, <laughs> Technically, I think that would work. I am in DKA, which is also Delta Kappa Alpha Professional Cinematic Society nationally. Shout, shout out to our shout out. Shout out to prop most of our fans that are just our friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Maybe someday um, when this is really big, people will come back and watch this episode and be like, "Wow, I'm not. I don't know them personally, but." So- Jillian and I are on opposite sides of the country, different time zones, but we're zooming. That's why we're why we're in this format today. Honestly, yeah. makes it so makes it both better and worse for recording um, because we don't have to restart the camera every twenty minutes. But this is take two. Um, oh yes, the war. <laughs> we were doing. We tried to do a Groundhog Day episode. Jillian, one of Jillian's favorite movies is Groundhog Day. It was exciting. We got to see the Groundhog. It's a good movie. It was fun. We recorded for probably two hours. <laughs> we went on yeah. so many tangents. It was a fun time. Good jokes. Good stories. Very cute. We were dressed up. Um, and then Zoom just decided to not save it. Um. And I still, we still can't really figure out why the Zoom people won't really respond to me in a helpful way. Who knows? So we were going to do, we were going to just fully re-record about Groundhog Day and it felt fitting because Groundhog <laughs> yeah. Day. <laughs> but then we were like, you know what, let's watch something else. That feels like hard to do a full, you know, Shannon and I screw up the camera almost every time and I have to record you know, five to 20 minutes of it again, but a full hour and a half, two hours was going to be too much. So we're yeah. not doing And a lot movie. of it had been said, you know, like I felt yeah. like. It's like, it's really awkward to sit and make the same jokes again. <laughs> That's what Shannon and I re-recorded. I think it was the Shaggy Dog one, the first uh, oh, no. half an hour we had to record because she forgot to, um, format the sd card so it saved like 30 seconds <laughs> oh no and then oh, so we had to redo it but it was like we've already made the jokes it was real. it was just a lot of like and this is what we said before and we laughed but now it's like and i i tried to come up with some new stories but it was like i've already kind of come up with them all and yeah it was pretty awkward so <laughs> it's probably for the best <laughs> that we're doing a new movie and that movie is fantastic, Mr. Fox, the Wes Anderson movie from 2009. Absolutely wild that this and G-Force, same year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I, I was thinking what a year that, for I'm movies. Like, oh. oh, yeah. 2000. Yeah. And what's in that? Oh, you don't. I was like, there was another film that I was going to suggest also from 2009, ironically, mm. and it was also stop motion. It's this French film called a town called panic i will not mm. i i can't say it in french it's very a town <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> please cut that out um but no a that's town called panic. absolutely staying in <laughs> <laughs> it's okay i um, took french for a year and a half and i don't remember any of it so i couldn't I, do any better yeah it's like oh, i'm not even gonna try it's it's no there's that's no fine. point it's like a Anyway, but it's a called a town called Panic, and it's about um these two characters. Like the only animal in it is really um Cheval, and he's a horse, and he's oh, just fun. a horse who, and it's a stop motion, like, like all these little toys. And I'm uh-huh. like comparing it to Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is like as a child, I would probably watch a town called Panic. The French would maybe, you know, it may <laughs> would maybe discourage me, but I would read the captions. 
but I feel like Fantastic Mr. Fox, I'm like, oh God, I feel like the foxes would scare me just a little bit. Like it's yeah. so, there's like an uncanny valley to it. That was the the other, in looking up stuff for Yeah, Your Night Later, the other movie that was that year was Coraline, um, which is oh. also stop motion. <laughs> It was a big year for stop motion, apparently. And yeah. Coraline was one of the movies I refused to watch as a kid. It was that, uh, Chicken Little, and The Incredibles. <laughs> really? Chicken am, Little was... I don't Sorry. really remember why. I think The Incredibles was mostly because, like, my dad wanted to watch it, or, like, he liked it, so I was, like, gonna not like <laughs> it. But I never <laughs> saw it. I never watched... Yeah, those three... I didn't watch till I was probably like 15 or 16. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I have a memory, distinct memory of rewatching Chicken Little, like on repeat, like the same day, just watching it. <laughs> I love that movie. I don't know I, why. I like it now. I just, as a kid, <laughs> was like, absolutely not. I don't know why. It's, it's, not, it's not as uncanny valley as this i feel like yeah i would have been a little reluctant yeah <laughs> but yeah i think i was just it freaked me out for some reason <laughs> outfits okay what are you what are you wearing today julian today i am wearing it is both urban outfitters um i am wearing um shorts that don't match so my also I shorts the... on that don't match <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm wearing a little black top and a very Wes Anderson fall uh, yes. flannel. I like and, it. Yeah, strong and fall vibes like... for April second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fast. Yeah. Um, but I felt like uh, if I was a character in Mister Fantastic Fox, I would be like a toad or like a ooh. like a frog. Oh, I like that. I feel like this is very much what I would wear yes. as a, a toad. Now I'm gonna think about what animal I would be. Ooh, I don't know. What would <laughs> you? What like... do you think I'd be? Hmm. Not necessarily outfit, but in general. In gen, oh yeah. I feel like with the hat, it's giving like, it's giving. I feel like you'd be not another like a turtle or, mm. or like a hare. I feel like yes. sex shop Sydney uh. would be like a rabbit. Like I, running around. <laughs> that's the best answer I could hope for because I those are my favorite animals. are my favorite animal. Oh my god! I'm I've so loved, glad. I love bunnies. I would love to have a bunny. That'd be so fun. I can imagine like a li- like I follow a lot of rabbits on Instagram. I also do. You need that little bit of like fluff in your life, you yes. know, Hollywood podcast style. And I follow <laughs> yeah. like Blueberry the Bun, so I feel like Ugh. she's a little, she's a little blue rabbit. I feel oh like God. you learn about in biology, like you learn about the chickens or like the rabbits. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, there's a genetics mm-hmm. unit where you learn about how like there's a blue colored rabbit, and I never understood like how could yeah. like a chicken or a rabbit be blue, but this it's like a bluish gray rabbit. I'm gonna have to go follow this one. My favorite one. He's. Adorable. I don't know if it's still active, but it was called like Labs and Lops, and it was two labs. It was a chocolate one and a yellow one, and then a giant uh, lop-eared bunny. Oh and my the, god, I follow them too. Yeah, and it's just like free range in the house. And I was like, that's my dream life. That's what I want. I want two <laughs> lambs and a giant bunny. And they're all best friends and they hang out in the house. That's like, cool. like <laughs> I never thought of it that goals. way. You just see them all like hanging out. Yes, that they're just like, it's just like they snuggle. I like, I love it. I love everything about it. That's what I want in life. Yeah. I love those col- the colossal bunnies. I follow also, it's like two colossal bunnies and a child, and they all hang out. <laughs> That's it's like, really good. <laughs> they, they're all just a mixed of with them together. I don't know oh. what account it is, but we link all of the Instagram accounts. Yeah. To Shout out to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, um, rest in peace, Mr. Bigglesworth. He was. Uh, oh. He was a hairless rabbit. I don't know why he was hairless, but 
add, I was showing pictures to my mom and she was like, oh no, so sad. <laughs> but I'm like, he's adorable. Aww. And he was like an activist for like against bullying. And it was like, Aww. he was a great bunny and rest in peace, Mr. Bigglesworth. That's the problem with following the like bunny accounts is they're always dying. <laughs> <laughs> it's I really mean, you're right yeah. yeah I follow like so many of the bunny accounts so, like I feel like in high school I went and I followed a ton of them mm. at some point and now it's like I forgot about them but I'll all of a sudden get a post it's like this bunny's dead <laughs> like yeah oh the rest of me. wait <laughs> yeah. uh, oh it's, so it's always sad. very sad yeah but like bunnies like, don't oh. live that long yeah. I follow lots of dog I, accounts too, and that's also sad when they die, but I feel like that's less frequent. Okay, that's good. I was yeah. gonna say, I'm like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I follow, can't imagine like hamster accounts. Four yeah. days. Dead. I used to have a hamster. I had a hamster for a couple months. It was my mom's friend had one, and they had gotten a cat, and the cat kept trying to eat it. Oh, God. And so that's not good. We took in the hamster for its last couple months and it was pretty fun oh, no. it just like hung out um it was when I was in high school like sophomore junior and so I'd be always up late doing homework and it lived in the like room I'd do homework in because I was really bad at focusing so I'd go in my our guest room was my homework room and where the hamster lived and it would just be up all night <laughs> causing so much commotion <laughs> <laughs> and then it was really quiet when it died but we had it for a while it was cute it was always like trying to climb up on top of the cage it was an escape artist we lost it once oh my God. And it, we couldn't find it for a couple days and then my dad was like asleep on the couch one night and heard it heard a little screaming across the kitchen <laughs> and ran That's out adorable. and it was just staring at him <laughs> he scooped it up with his big eyes yeah. just like you found me it was so fun its name was ginger we called it gingy after like the um the one in shrek the, i was gonna say yeah. like, <laughs> the shrek and my dog reference? at the time really enjoyed it we put it in the ball and then we just like let him loose <laughs> oh my god and there's a really good picture we have of I, my old dog darcy like really trying to lick the ball and the ants are just staring at her. And we're, like, trying to hold them apart. <laughs> Good They're times. They're best friends. They, they were they friends. They were the next uh, couple. Uh, yeah. Like, a fun animal parents. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not not a couple. Definitely not. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. I don't that's remember a, if Gingy thing. was a boy or a girl. I don't think we ever really knew or figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I was going to say, this. that's something I'm going to bring up in perspective, but, like, I want to know the laws of the the universe of Fantastic mm. Mr. Fox. Yes. Like, someone like Wes Anderson would have had, like, these are the rules. Like, you know what yeah. I mean, I feel? I, how... Frankly, I don't know anything about him, so I could be wrong, but <laughs> just feels he's a right. filmmaker. Yeah. He's a filmmaker. Yeah. You that's know? a good question. I don't want to cast shade to Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like you have rules. I feel like you're right. Uh, oh, yeah. My outfit. Okay. So. Sorry. Oh, my God. Dang. I didn't put on earrings because I was going to wear my big headphones and now they're far away and I want to get up again. But we got some makeup. I put some fun little like fake freckles on to be like, ooh, cute animal vibes um, and some orange for Fox. And then this is my fun um, pumpkin hat that I made um I've crocheted a couple bucket hats every time it's not quite right it's always a little bit too curly and it gets <laughs> it's always a little bit too big because I misjudge when I should start going down instead of out so every so all of them have like a fun little um tie strap inside where you tie it to your head <laughs> I don't do patterns when I crochet or knit or anything it's just based on vibes alone. Like, I know you're supposed to, like, swatch it and see how big it is or, like, count what you're doing. I just like to see what happens. So this was, I think, my mm, maybe my second bucket hat. But this is um, a fox sweater that I thrifted. It's got a fox on it. I wish it was higher up so we could see it. But it's cute. <laughs> um, and then I also have mismatched shorts, but I have my 
my fox socks on today. I um, do not own fox socks. I realized I don't have. I was in a one animal that I. Don't I think it have. was before I met you that I was in my sock phase. That's kind of ironic because I think it may have coincided with mine just in high school. Uh. You had a sock phase? I had a, I think I'm still living through the sock phase, frankly. But I still will get some on occasion, but it's not like it was. Yeah. Yeah. I was obsessed. To bring it back to Mr. Fantastic Fox. Yeah. The fantastic Mr. Fox. I always get the. Mr. (laughs) To relate it. it Who is it that's. Oh, no. I'm thinking of the guy on Shark Tank that's Mr. Wonderful. No, he's not Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic is in. Fantastic Four. Oh, that's yes, what Fantastic Four. There we go. <laughs> it's like, I know that's I a like, thing. Yes, Mr. Fantastic does exist. Um, what's it called? Oh, anyway. Sorry, I, re- I remember when I was... I love him so much. I love... At first, I was like, who is... Like, who's the voice? And then yes. I see at the end, George Clooney. It's George like, Clooney. Everyone in this movie is voice. Like, such a whole... Such a person. Yes. And then Bill Murray's there, too. Bill Murray's Little, there, little uh cameo yeah from our groundhog day <laughs> yeah. but i'm just like i love him as a character like mm-hmm. mr fox is just That's i don't such know a good he's character. just i love i love writing people like that mm. like i just started writing another script um because that's just how my brain's like you're never gonna stop <laughs> that's so i wrote a script <laughs> and it's like just someone so like not obsessed with their image but they like play off that they aren't obsessed with it but they're like this yeah. is who i am that it's like it's that it's like I don't he's care, kind I of really aware but he's like playing into the bit of who people think he is and who he is right I think exactly that's, yeah i realize i only remember the ending of this movie also so mm. watching the beginning i'm like this all makes sense now <laughs> i I think I have, I hadn't seen, I went through when I was in high school, I think we watched, we watched Rushmore in the one film class that we had, and I really liked it, and I was like, oh, Wes Anderson's guy, let me watch everything he's made, <laughs> and so I, I think my junior, senior year, I did a lot of, like, let me watch all of the movies this director made, so I did, like, him, I did, I think I watched all the Tarantino movies, usually except for one. I don't know why. <laughs> I would always make Which it. Which one was the except for one with Wes? Uh, I haven't Anderson. seen the, what's it called? The one when they're on the train. And it's like the three guys. Oh. Uh, the oh what is that one? Dar, 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 oh, Darjeeling yeah. Limited. Darjeeling Limited. I haven't seen that one still. Who knows like why? With Wes Anderson, you have to watch them like four times. Like mm-hmm. I did not like, what's his most recent one? The, uh, the French the Dispatch. Newspaper. Yeah, French Dispatch. I've only seen I, it once. I've got to see it again. Yeah, I I've seen it two times, and I'm not convinced yet. I know I will be convinced. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, my Wes Anderson maybe hot take. I like his earlier stuff way more. I think it's better. Uh, what's what came after fantastic movie fox, fox is like the the middle point where i'm like this and everything before i love i'm obsessed with and then i like isle of dogs i think because i like i think as soon as he was given enough mu- budget and they were like do whatever you want you're the man and he was like let me get so into this style mm. with like when it's that intense style but live action I don't like it as much like I appreciate it but I just don't connect with it as much I think but like when it's stop motion or whatever I'm like you know removed from it enough that I really like it but yeah all the other stuff where it was like yes the style but less intense and specific and it felt a little bit more fluid and like because I love like Life Aquatic World Ten oh, Bombs, Rushmore, too. like those are some of my favorite movies. But like, like Grand Budapest Hotel, I like it. But I, <laughs> I've seen it once or twice, and I wouldn't really go back to it unless I was like looking for some, looking to watch it specifically. Yeah, yeah. I, my, I, what, what did he do after Grand Budapest Hotel? Unless it's Grand Budapest Hotel, and then then Isle of Dispatch. Dogs, then French oh. Dispatch. I. 
I'm, I'm not to go against your hot take, but I love the, the Grand Budapest Hotel. I don't know. I feel like I gotta watch it again because I've only seen it maybe once. Or, I've seen it definitely once, but I don't know if I've seen it another time. I I'm just obsessed with. I don't know. I love like, and that's see that's what makes it so great is they gave him all the money so that he <laughs> and they did everything with yeah. Him. I like uh the part where they're on the alpine and they have yeah. to chase down the hill very similar to when they're in the motorcycle Mm -hmm. in this movie but he has the same he does the same thing every single time but it's fine i maybe it's like the character stuff that i like in his earlier movies more too of like i love a good dysfunctional family like i think that's why i like world time bombs because it's like i really like i think the characters are really cool and same with like life aquatic and rushmore that i really like like it feels like character is like super important there and I feel like it's kind of yeah. been it's switched to more of a like aesthetic. the structure and the form and the aesthetic is over the characters which I'm yes, not I that's agree. just not my thing as much yeah yeah as someone who I it's also it's less of oh you're focusing on everyone and Grand Budapest Hotel is very much very it's all these two characters and you're focusing mm-hmm. on them and they're not very different from each other mm. i also find like they're just one and like they're they, they're like a mirror into like yeah one of them in the future for the other so which is but, fun but i like when yeah. people are like you know they can be friends but like they're so opposite or like there's something that's like you know causing the tension and there's right. like conflict between them but also like internal like it's like all all the kinds of conflicts instead of like we're not so different you and I yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah. I like what it's like I'm not gonna like there's a trope I don't even know if this is a real trope it's a trope within stuff that I write it's like you but from the future like Mm. either like actually you from the future or like this is an older person who could be who is exactly what you'll end up if you keep doing the same thing that you're doing i don't know that's what i like to write yeah i, I feel like that's real. a thing it i can't think thing. of a, i can't think of a lot of examples right now but i feel like it is i just love well i guess you know it's, it's, i'm not even gonna make a guess i've never seen terminator but i feel like terminator <laughs> <laughs> someone comes back to do something um yeah. with their former self but yeah we're, we're both character people works. we are both character people we like writing people we like writing people that would be our best friends or not our best friends at all <laughs> yeah our worst enemy yeah um i have to say i'd be friends with all of the people from sex shop i'd be all the friends with oh. most of the people in mr fantastic fox mm. um this- Fantastic Mr. Fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> there should be a counter. I really like how like, many times I get it wrong. I really like when in the movie they say the name of the movie and they said it a couple times in Fantastic Mr. Fox. In yes, like they did. The most kind of tongue in cheek way. <laughs> it was really good. It's like his newspaper column, also. Yeah. Um, I think she even at the end when she's like, oh, I guess. I guess we could go into the uh yeah the, the recat the recat yes the recat Sorry, I love the names <laughs> recat is funny because it's like it does work but it doesn't like it feels <laughs> like it's too short of a word to be like a solid play on words pun it's just like we changed a single letter and it's <laughs> so like I don't know. <laughs> Something about recat is really good. <laughs> it's it's perfect. I believe no it's one per- can tell me different. Yes, the recat. Let's talk through the movie. Um, we start off with the. It's like the. It's like a prologue, kind of. Right? Yes, it is very much a prologue. It's, it's him. A flashback. Flashback. <laughs> it's him and. I don't what's know. Maybe girl? what's the girl's name? Oh, Felicity. Felicity. Or Mrs. Or... Fox. Mrs. Fox. Mr. Let's just call Mrs. Fox, Fox and Mr. Fox. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> he's like a. He likes the thief. He's a thief. He like goes and steals the birds and stuff from farmers. And so like they they go together. 
you know, he is so full of himself. He's like <laughs> always just talking and she like will make a point and he won't even listen. And then they like get stuck in a trap because he's um too full of my himself. favorite effect in the movie. <laughs> You're glowing. You're glowing. And then it's just too glowing. <laughs> when oh, good. It's really good. It looks like one of their those like lawn yes. light up like Christmas. The Christmas santa you put your 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 lawn but it's a fox yeah it's really good (laughs) it's so good i was like and then she just kind of looks at him it's so like the cut is perfect i'm like i can imagine it in like a spoof movie yeah from the 80s like oh you're glowing and then (laughs) yeah (laughs) but yeah so they get stuck she reveals that she's pregnant she's glowing (laughs) um (laughs) and then she's like promise me like you will not do this anymore this is dangerous you know we're having a kid get it together man um and then we like you know flash forward to the present and they have their kid and his name is ash and he's a little (laughs) different he's a little different (laughs) i really liked it so good yeah it's such a funny way. <laughs> it's very now, great. Whenever I talk about anyone, I'm just being like, they're a little it's different. Little different. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's funny because it's like, you'd say it'll be like subtle, be like, oh, he's different. But it makes it such a, <laughs> you're like, you're yeah, really calling attention to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're being, the Jazz words are hands. subtle, but you're calling call it like, you know such an emphasis on it's it as if you're like oh they're little yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so he's a little different um and yeah mr fox he's like and he writes for the newspaper he's got a column life is pretty like chill um and they live in a hole in the ground as foxes do but he's like (laughs) he sees a fun newspaper article where he it's like a a tree's for sale and he's like oh my god i want to live above ground that's the life like he as like full of himself he is he's such a family man he loves his wife he loves his kid he like wants the best for him but he like does it in such a like egotistical way sometimes but he really does mean the best which is kind of yeah. it's a fun character steam rolls the sun that scene yeah. i like why are you wearing a cape <laughs> yeah. Just like... <laughs> yeah but yeah so he like he goes he goes to get the tree um his the the realtor is wes anderson as a weasel which is fun Wait. oh that's him Mm-hmm. I kn- I knew he was gonna be in it, but I just yeah. didn't know where. Yeah, I think he's the weasel, um, and that's where he meets um Riley, the like opossum, um, oh yeah, handyman guy, right? He's the opossum. I know the uh, what's the he difference fishes. between an opossum and a possum? I I didn't think there was a difference. I thought I don't it was remember. Just... It might be like where you they live google Let's and i look. can't remember what oh okay so they both correctly refer to the virginia the virginia opossum frequently seen in north america oh a common use possum is the usual term in technical or scientific contests opossum is preferred oh, so they're the same mm-hmm. and they can be pronounced with its first syllable either voiced or silent so Interesting. opossum or possum yeah Hmm. well that's kind of fun that they say opossum because they do the whole like scientific name bit yeah later I, on and yeah they have a little word the name yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it little pops up but yeah so he meets riley riley's like kind of fun um he ends up being his like what does he call him his secretary or his assistant or something and he, but he's just like the handyman oh. that lives there too um that like lives in their house <laughs> yeah <laughs> just your old bud the badger lawyer who is Bill, Bill Murray. Murray is like don't do that it's so visible you're a fox and it's right next to all these super nasty farmers 
um and then he's like who are the farmers and then we get to meet them and we get a little song i love the song <laughs> me i love that song. I was the like, song I is talk so about good song. we can talk about all the music in the, the music section a little bit but just right off the bat love it so oh, the beach boys at the beginning like that's yes. that like when they play heroes and villains yes. I'm like this is perfect that like, was another, to... that was that was one of my favorite mu- music moments as well <laughs> my bad I'm like I'm no it's okay it we'll come back to it but yeah, yeah. so music in general just great across the board but this when they sing Lots the song and the little kids are like singing the rhyme love a good rhyme that's def- definitely got to be from the book right and then they made it into like an actual song I ho- like I, that's there's like no way I the hope. rhyme isn't in the book I feel like it is yeah I feel like it's similar ball. yeah to like how in the hobbit when he has all the songs in it and then they were like let me get I can't remember who it is that they had write a song to it it's someone random <laughs> it's <laughs> not I have no <laughs> idea why I'm thinking of either Ed Sheeran or Imagine no. Dragons. It's not either of those. I have no idea what it actually is. <laughs> those are what's you know how back in the day, like if there was like a music ta- like a music or a song by like an artist in like the early like, 2010s. Yeah. Like like even Frozen. Like Demi Lovato, they oh, did a song. Yes. Um yeah. or they did a cover of uh, Let It Go. Yeah. And they have like a music video. Yes. I can imagine Ed Sheeran doing like a music video for um like the Hobbit. Like yeah. you know, like <laughs> I could just see him with his red hair singing a little ditty. Like when he came into Game of Thrones just to sing a song for an episode and it was like why? <laughs> like that vibe. <laughs> that like putting it in like Maybe a it's just because like- Ed Sheeran gives off strong like Hobbit vibes. Bill Murray's spirit animal is definitely a badger. Yeah. Like, that was perfect. It was really good. Yeah. And then they fight in the office. They fight. That was, I love when they're animals. I love when they do the animal thing and they, like, fight or, like, how he eats and he just, like, (laughs) Yeah. It's really good. But, yeah. So that, and then he's, like, don't buy it. He's, like, I'm buying it anyway. And then we get the fun, like, Wes Anderson style through the house of them, like, moving in and, like, putting the things together. Um, And then they move in. I don't know what like and it's rating like, your uh, podcast has. But I'm like orgasm right there. West End is an orgasm. <laughs> It'd be funnier if you bleep that out too. <laughs> they move in. It's like fun. It seems like it's going well. Um, and then that's when the cousin is there. Yes, Christopherson. Uh, I love and, his name. Yeah, it's really fun. It's so perfect so he comes he's like really good at things which it's wild because normally it's like the new kid is the one that's like made fun of at school and like he's also kind of a weirdo no offense to him yeah he's also (laughs) different but it's like everyone seems to like him because he's like good at sports and he's like eloquent and i guess cool but it's like he's not trying hard yeah i feel like in any other school people would think he was weird too (laughs) he knows karate yeah he He meditates all the time yeah yeah especially in 2009 i feel like he'd be like you know right the beat the beaver's the bully right the i forget he was like yeah but the beaver like seems fine with him yeah but yeah so he's there um Ash is like super jealous because he's like, I'm an athlete. Yeah. (laughs) That's what he keeps saying. I am an athlete. Dad, do you see me as an athlete? And because the dad was an athlete. Because the dad was an athlete. He was the whack bat champion. That was also a fun cameo. The whack bat coach, gym teacher being Owen Wilson. Yeah. I I can't remember what animal. Explaining the game. Yes. Yeah. I think. He's like a white creature. I don't know what yeah. he is. I I can see the white fur in my head. But yeah. He's yeah. Right now. He's talking the whack bat, and I'm like yeah. trying to follow it too, and it's just so confusing. It's so Even it's a like cricket, but not. It, yes, it's very much cricket, but not. Yeah. Six bases. It reminds me. There's a game I played 
middle school, they'd have us play six bases, which is basically kickball, but instead of three bases, it was six bases. And the last one, you ran home from the middle. And it's just, it's an exhilarating feeling in my memory when you ran home. <laughs> because there were, not only were there seven, tr- like, parts that you could get, like, completely out on, like, it was just wild. It brings me back. But whack that reminded me of six bases. <laughs> Man. Then, like, we get a lot of Mr. Fox, he's looking out the window at the farmers that are across the hill, and he's like, I don't really remember what, he's just like, let's do it. He's very much like, I think he wants to help provide for his family a bit, but he's also like, I'm good at this, I need the rush. And so he like, recruits Riley to like, help him. And so they go and they break in to like, each of the farmers. Um, Fog is fun to me. (laughs) (laughs) And they like slowly start building and like it gets more intense each time and they um, fill up the the larder yeah and mrs fox is like something's going on if, if some if what's going on is going on it better not be yeah <laughs> so good and then the third one the third one they let um what's his name christopherson come with him because he's an athlete and yeah. <laughs> he'd be good and i really like their little bandit hats i love how that's a whole thing oh the bandit hat yes really funny i want a bandit hat <laughs> yeah <laughs> and just like how they sell them <laughs> it's like something everyone could have it's yeah a bandit hat. um it's like the guy yeah the so story. they go they don't get caught but it's like close it's a close call you know be- is Be- Bean's the last one, right? Yes, Bean's and the she- last one. So Mrs. Bean comes down. Bean comes down, but she's like kind of blind and like doesn't see them. They meet the rat. Um, yes. The rat What's that is name? Willem Dafoe is the best. Yeah. That's my favorite character. <laughs> that's my <laughs> that's my favorite performance. <laughs> it's really yeah, good. He's, it's really good. I was like, who so is funny. This? I know this. And then it's just like, like such oh, a good, so good, such good casting. <laughs> he does a good job too. Like he's just like lanky so, and like, like yeah, it's really good. So yeah, they get out. They barely they like a narrow escape. They shoot the the drugged blueberries at the at the beagles at some point. I think yeah. that's that one. Um, and, oh, and then he picks up. Oh wait, one of the other characters picks up one of the blueberries. And yeah, they, they, I think everyone's got farmers. beagles. Then maybe. Because I was like, I remember Beagles at the end. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe everyone's got Beagles. They're yeah, like maybe. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, so then the farmers are like, this is bad. They have like a little, a little meeting. I liked that scene yeah. where they're like, it's just It's kind of scary. Yeah. Like as a kid, I'm just, I would be like, oh my God yeah drama. that was also really good casting um oh what's his name michael gambit who played dumbledore yeah. the yeah. second second iteration of dumbledore in the harry potter movies that was good i thought he did good, did a really good job i learned I, in, I learned that he was originally going to be oh who was it that he was supposed to be one of the animals Oh. And then they switched him. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> they know where the fox is. They're gonna like go get him. Um, and it's a lot of like they shoot him. They shoot his tail off. That's like a whole thing. And then oh like, right yes. And then they they side. They're like oh let's take out the tree. Let's kill him. <laughs> and <laughs> they like blow up the tree. Yeah. Digging. They like break. Everyone's got their little like construction diggers. Yeah. So feels very sandbox <laughs> oh 100 percent. um but the foxes just keep digging the foxes down. keep digging they get out and then it's like it keeps getting like they keep amping it up so then they're kind of destroying all of the animals homes <laughs> like yeah. they're flooding it at one point it's like a lot and so all the animals like go together and to escape they end up they had come up with a plan and they just like dig into um Oh, yeah, all of their the farms again yeah. <laughs> they steal everything and then they have like a big feast and it's a fun time um and then then that's when they flood it they flood it with the apple cider 
Yes, they flood it with the apple cider. They get yes. the, the fire department to hook up the hose <laughs> yeah. to the to the cider. Like, yeah, uh, I don't understand why they do it with tanker. the cider because, like, that I guess they're so injury. mad for stealing their product that they're like, yeah. let me waste all this product on flooding, <laughs> flooding, flooding them out. Right. Yeah. I, I love when it when it drips into the cup and then you know, Mr. Fox goes like oh, cider and then flood. Yeah. But and before I've... that, Christopherson and what's an ash, they make up after oh, yes. Christopherson yeah. the bully. Yes. Ash is like, I don't need your help. <laughs> I don't need your protecting. And he's like, Yes, you do. Um, and they like and, and they get together, they like go, they want to steal back the tie. And yes. so they sneak this into like Bean's house, um, and they get there and they eat some cookies, and then they learn <laughs> <laughs> they learn that it's actually like he's his he, he is wearing it as a necktie. That's like a bit. So he's like right, yeah, yeah. And then they think it's on the mantle. They put yes. it on your mantle, obviously. And yeah. then it's like, oh, it's a tie. <laughs> yeah, and so then they. They capture Christopherson and Ash yes. is back and then like at, at post flood they're like where is he where is your buddy my buddy's right. Christopherson and where is he I don't know yeah. <laughs> yeah and then they're like we gotta get him back um they use him as like a like a captive like they do like a video where yeah the they're like holding him. him and they send yeah. him a they send him a letter with the like cut out letters Ransom. <laughs> and they're like why did he why did they do that we know who it is <laughs> and then they he when he sends it. mr fox sends a letter back and does the same thing <laughs> and they're like why did he do this I'm like i don't know we did it for some reason <laughs> Oh, and then he destroys the 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 trailer. It's like oh, he stole all your yeah. stuff, and then he destroys it. I think that that's had a meme. that had strong. Um, Once upon a time in Hollywood, when uh, Leonardo DiCaprio like punches his trailer or whatever, that felt like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So I hope I hope Quentin Tarantino was inspired by this movie. <laughs> Um, it's also yeah, like then I they're like we've done. Oh, sorry. No, you go. Who's done stop motion before? Like, oh my god! Like having to set up that destroying scene. Yeah. Like making sure everything's in the right spot to make it look as if it's been destroyed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. as someone who's done it, like one of my first films that was stop motion. I actually, my my first film oh. ever. There's a point where I have like a crowd of people. And what I was, you know, you used to do the stop motion, you move yeah. them a little inch. One of the people fell backwards and like off the chair, but it was perfect because it was like the announcement of news. Yeah. So it was as if the person fainted, but it was a complete oh, accident. And so I remember fun. one of my teachers had pointed it out and it's like, it's so perfect. It's so detailed. <laughs> and I'm just like, I didn't even yeah. realize that until she had said that. And I lived that way for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. But like, I, you know, death of the author, it's less of death of the author and more like the people who consume your content are the people who make the content. Mm -hmm. Like you, mm -hmm. you've done it, but these are the people who are putting their love and care into enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh. <laughs> sorry. That's that deep. Was, that was very <laughs> no, <I> deep. <laughs> Where were we? Oh yeah. Oh. So Christopherson is kidnapped. They right. make a plan. They're like, we gotta go after him. They go after him. At yeah, some they, point, they after at him. some they point have... at the around then is when Mrs. Fox is like, I, I love you, but I shouldn't have married you. That's like yes! a lot. For a kid's film. <laughs> well, I know so it's not like it's just like, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you too, but I shouldn't have married you. Yeah. And, then she, and then she goes, and they go and talk to the son. Yeah. That was also crazy. I was like, oh that's my wild. god. And yeah. that's around when the rat comes back and it's like, they yeah. fight and they kill the, the rat, rat and they like give they, him yeah. a burial and they like put him in the sewer and he goes like, the end of the day he's just another dead rat behind a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> also like what <laughs> oh right yeah that's so much <laughs> i think 
Ash is like, he redeemed himself. And then <laughs> he's like, just it's like just another dead rat. Just another because dead he, rat. they tell him where Christopherson is. They yeah. tell them where he is. Oh, yeah. But he's still just a dead rat. Oh, yeah, rat. because he's like, if I hadn't, uh, if I had literally hadn't killed you, would you have told me? And he's like, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess, yeah, he didn't redeem himself. Yeah, he but just, yeah, so he we so happened to die. If I know where he is, he's like being held uh, in the attic. It's in, in the, the attic, attic of, of like, the Bean, annex of Bean. Bean's farm. Yeah. yeah. So then they like put together this whole plan. They're gonna have like a distraction. Mrs. Fox uses her painting skills to make a mural map. <laughs> but it's like really it's tragic gorgeous. when she starts writing on it. <laughs> yeah, I was all like, no. Uh, <laughs> But then, like, yeah, it turns into a whole thing where they're, like, you know, a it's like pine a little battle. And grenades. Pine, pine cone grenades. Oh, because pop. whoever it is pop is like, tail. oh, yeah, the scene where Mr. Fox is going around and going, like, you're a Latin name animal. <laughs> what are you good at? <laughs> and everyone's, like, good at, like, things you'd expect. Normal animal and things. Then, yeah. And then what everyone goes, uh... Bill Murray! He goes, Bill Murray pyrotechnics. Goes, pyrotechnics. <laughs> yeah. he's like i'm good at explosions okay sure um but yeah so there's that they like go they ride their little like cart over to bean's place and it's like oh the right. motorcycle he the motorcycle like a bigger motorcycle yeah. in front and of then the smaller the, one yeah and they go into <laughs> the smaller really, yeah. one yeah it's like what mr fox riley and ash um, i think ash yeah ash comes up and he's like, and ash oh, has this bandit hat that's a sock but yeah so he they go they go rescue him ash tries to do ash tries to meditate and do his like karate oh yeah um doesn't really go well <laughs> <laughs> but he, like christopherson is Christop- able to escape christopherson gets out they yeah to escape they're like trying to get away from the the beagle with rabies um there's a shootout yeah and then as they're trying to escape and ash is like i'm getting the tie and he does like the stick i'm stick lighter ball. than a piece of bread yes <laughs> and he does like a stick stick ball thing and like gets the tie yeah the whack bat yeah the whack bat that's what he it does, is and he runs. Stick ball thing what am i thinking of i don't know what stick ball is <laughs> okay wait stick I, story. I, I was confused <laughs> you a stick, stick story. story when i was working at um as a camp counselor some of these kids like i think this was the, the covid summer so it was like a really small group and we were we were always just sitting inside doing nothing all day and oh, no. these kids were playing pickup sticks and i was like what are they doing they're doing it weird and i went over and was like what are you playing and they're like oh we're playing go stick um, which was go fish, but with the pickup sticks, where you could fully see what the other person had, <laughs> and then when you draw from the pile, you also could see what you were picking up. And so we, I played a couple rounds of go stick, and it was like funny because everyone, like you know, the little third graders were like, "This is so stupid but funny." <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah, you're right, it is. So we kept playing go stick, and it was just really dumb. <laughs> That's and it was like this is what we've come to because we're so bored we're playing ghost stick a game where everyone sees what sticks you have <laughs> oh so. we're right, right beyond chris uh, oh yeah chris ash Whack ash does the, the thing lock. he go they escape the dog runs out the dog yeah. runs out the the, the 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 rabid beagle and then Chases bean <laughs> yes and then they run they're like going away uh, and then they run into the wolf. And then oh, that's like yes, a fun the... moment where he's like, Canis Lupus. He's in... Yeah. Is, is the weather getting cold? I don't remember what it is. It's something like that. It's like, great like oh, how do you feel about the winter? Yeah. yeah. And, and they the don't winter. really talk. He like tries to speak yeah. a couple languages at it. That not was a Latin, question I had. French. What? the language rules in this movie of what animals can talk what animals walk on what animals are like bipedal who can walk on two feet yeah like why why can the fox why is the fox like a person but the beagles and the wolf aren't right and the chickens and, and the, the chickens aren't yeah yeah i was like 
Like, why can't the ducks talk? I mean, I get why they don't make the ducks talk because then it feels that um, would be cruel. <laughs> really weird for the foxes to go kill them. <laughs> but like, why don't the beagles talk? There's so many weird rules, like in these like animal based. Yeah. Like yeah. When you make something personified, like personified, there's like you also need to have like this weird like hierarchy. Like I know there's yeah. also like animals that have pets. Like, mm, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? Like, which actually happens in real life. But, like, isn't that kind of strange? Yeah, <laughs> like, like how, um, like, Pluto and, like, Mickey Mouse is a dog. Yeah. Like, also is Goofy a dog. But I was trying to think of, like, themes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like maybe that could be part of the theme. Like, even when, I guess for colonialism, like, even when the animals are practically human wearing clothing having jobs there's two lawyers there's a doctor mm. like they're still yeah. treated as animals this mm-hmm. like you know what i mean like yeah. they're still forced out of yeah. their homes they they have to live in the sewer at the end and i'm yeah. like hey so that is that also, yeah environmentalism so they get out. yeah they get out they're, they're in the sewers the they're in the sewers the farmers are still like, I've wasted all my time and money and energy on this, but I still got to kill that fox. <laughs> yeah. They're like, how long can a fox live in the sewers? And they're like, basically out of food. Um, But then they go to M- Mr. Fox is like, guys, come with me. I've got a fun surprise. A Ooh, what's going to yeah. be up here? And it's like a supermarket and they can eat. Um, and they have like a little speech. He does like a little speech where he's like, "You are my favorite five people," and one of them is that girl he's never had a conversation with before. Yeah, it's like Christopherson's girlfriend, <laughs> like, who's also a fox. But it's like Mr. Fox has never interacted with her before, and he's like, "You are my favorite five people." <laughs> it's like you don't know her. Yeah, yeah. She's just here. She's like way less of a character than so many of the other animals. Like, the only thing yeah. she added was just some more tension between Ash and Christofferson, but, like, there already was enough, I feel like. Right. Of, like, competing for Mr. Fox's affection and, like, being an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just really love that he's just, like, I'm an athlete. It's just such a yeah, weird... Nobody yeah. really calls themselves an athlete. And he uses that instead of being different, he's an athlete. Like, he's like, yeah. I still believe I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete. Like, <laughs> yeah. Even though everyone's different, like yeah. everyone's different, I'm an athlete. <laughs> yeah, when his mom has that talk with him, she's just like, everyone's different. And it is kind of cute. And he's like, but I'm, an a- I'm still an athlete. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> it also feels like, well, yes, they, they get into the grocery store and they dance and then yay, movie's over. And it's just like, yeah. no one changes. I like, that's what no. I realized. I'm like, no one becomes a different person. Like, they all stay the same like I was trying just for Mrs. Fox because she's like she she even yeah. says it like we're forced down to the sewer yeah it's a pretty sad kids movie yeah in the end if you think if you think about it real hard like I was trying to trying to figure out the themes <laughs> yeah yeah but, like, I mean I the guess farmers don't change the farmers don't change. like I guess Mr. Fox kind of learns his lesson a little bit Hey, does he like that was like because yeah. at like, the end he is still breaking in and that just happens right. to go better for him at that point but like because they're closed on weekends yeah they i can't imagine that when they come back on monday they're gonna be excited about their trashed supermarket <laughs> right and it's yeah it's box bugs and beans uh, yeah supermarket so yeah. it's just like, it feels like it's gonna go on forever and ever like yeah. a cartoon maybe that's it maybe yeah. Wes Anderson was trying to like do a spoof on like you know not a spoof but like tongue-in-cheek to like the cartoons like the yeah. I mean, there's Brothers a lot cartoons of, there's a lot of like you know where they're just like kind of accepting of the fact that they're like impulsive and stuff of like we're wild animals yeah that's in our nature but it's like, yeah, I don't know I what I'm that... supposed to get from that. Because <laughs> I'm a person. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, Mr. Bean looks a lot like Elmer Fudd. Bean is modeled after um, Roald Dahl, I learned. 
Really? Was, like that's apparently what he looks like. That's what the internet told me. That's kind of scary for someone who wrote kids' books. I always just and that the little like the physically, yeah, and then physically. the like character of um Mr. Fox is like just based off of Roald Dahl himself. So basically, what happened? Kind of sad. Um, Roald Dahl's like kid died or something. Something oh, happened no. where like his kid died. I think his wife also died. He was like sad, and he was very much like a. Or, like, maybe he got in, like, a really bad car accident and, like, a kid died. Oh, he was a I can't remember driver. exactly what it was. Mm. But he was, like, very into, like, I a protective father, like, based off of, like, I want to write something about this dad who, like, really cares about his kid and family. So that's apparently where the book came from. And that's very much not the story next category <laughs> i guess they're called segments on a podcast that doesn't have yeah. um top dog you got any favorite quotes or moments what were your favorite i have a whole oh, list different different okay different. my favorite quotes i like when i like the first appearance of don't cuss with me <laughs> how they always just swear by saying cuss really fun yeah um i i love when he's in the hole and they're right about to like dig to get to steal all of the food and he's yeah. like we got to kind of feel out the vibe and i'm like that's just yes. me i yeah. see vibe all the time i liked how at the end when he gave the speech he got on a literal soapbox <laughs> yeah um i liked when um bean came up to like the guy singing and he was like what oh, is the yeah. song and he's like i'm just kind of making it up and he goes that's just bad songwriting you wrote a bad song pd <laughs> and, like, and like pd comes back i never realized that pd's like his right yeah. hand man yeah. i love the part when he rips apart the trailer we talked about that yeah but i liked how the they introduced the farmers so that whole sequence with the song and just like very Wes Anderson vibes of like how they, yeah how they're um, all standing how it's framed. I also wrote feeling out the vibe when he started to dig I really like <laughs> he just he always just knew what direction to dig he never d- dug the wrong way <laughs> yeah they and I love how they they dig like how Wes Anderson did it like they have the little holes and they're <laughs> yeah you can see them tunneling the, I also, this is oh, the PD thing. song in general. PD song in general. Was, oh, PD I, I really enjoyed um, how everyone plays an instrument and it cuts yeah. to like them all dancing in the in whoever's farm, and it really it reminded farm me house, of yeah. um some one of the uh when my sister and I were making like dumb videos um like where I would just do a bunch of bits one of the characters I made up was just a farmer named Henry McHenry and he had a song and I fully improvised the song about chickens (laughs) and I still remember all of it like on the spot I was just like let me sing a song about chickens and it was like and I still remember it and this was in like 2016 (laughs) oh my god and it felt it's like iconic. that of like just a dumb animal song making it up on the spot playing an instrument I decided I really need one of those jaw harps I had to look up what it was called the like boing instrument oh yeah that's the boing. instrument I need. yeah I that adds I my agree. collection of my collection of weird weird silly instruments favorite animal performances I, I said the rat in. Oh, the rat's good. I specifically Badger. wrote down when he goes, they got the boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The way he delivers all of his lines are really perfect. Bill Murray <laughs> and Owen Wilson boy. cameos. Amazing. Yes. And just like all the perfect. all the normal, um, all the like, just uh, Wes Anderson, like normal cast of characters popping up. You know, like Jason Schwartzman and like yeah, whoever, yeah, fun. I what's it called? I just I have such a great appreciation for Wes Anderson. What he does, you know, like he just has a nice. I see his vision, and as someone yeah. who also makes films and writes films, I'm like, 
he's like me yeah. <laughs> i'm like him i really like how he dresses like he's in his own <laughs> in one of his own movies <laughs> yes i guess Very wes fun. anderson is one of our top dogs today <laughs> yeah that's what oh or yeah well last weasel. the last the last thing was like graphics technical things what oh, were your okay. favorite bits of that and then we have oh, the just... top dog oh right we do have the top dog yeah just oh the technical stuff it's like when you see stop motion i love it because it's like it's physical it's in the real world like that thing exists in yeah. the real world and they used it yeah and i just want to see the behind the scenes footage or mm. like the, like the pictures mm-hmm. of like i also like how they change the scale of yeah. the characters in certain scenes like yeah. especially in the beginning with the beach boys going and they're running across the field and yeah. when they're closer they're they're more detailed figures really and then oh i could well, i could talk about this movie forever i realized <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so what's oh, the top dog the waterfall scene. oh the waterfall oh that's really i that's forgot really about that too. yeah it's just it's like iconic it's like i feel like if it wasn't in of Wes Anderson stop motion kids film it would be like an iconic film shot like it reminds me of something yeah. that would be in like La La Land oh. oh yeah okay so what's the top dog we came up with this when we recorded the um Groundhog Day podcast so we haven't talked about what the top dog means yet oh right Julian it's came up with this media I'm just like oh, what's you. what's the star of the show across the board what's the top dog here and I think, yeah, the Wes Anderson, like, aesthetic and, like, what everything he's doing is just, like, Yeah, it carries the film. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, like, compared to the other, I was about to say, Rob, Rob Dahl did not do The Grinch. But, like, <laughs> other chi- children's book adaptations, mm. they feel like they're made for, like, 2010 not 2010 yeah well yeah 2000s or 2010s it was made for that era but this yeah. feels like this they was could timeless. have made this back when the book came out yeah, yeah. or like there's now, no references or, like there's no... or anything like that and that's another thing stop motion doesn't age well it, it can age but yeah. like when it's done well it does yeah exactly you don't think oh this was made like it's part of the aesthetic yeah being you know when they don't don't do as many frames as they should and like mm-hmm. you know when the iceberg is pulling away and yeah. like all the frost like in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer yeah like no one's like oh it's not smooth enough like it doesn't look it's real like, oh, no, it's, it's, yeah and I feel like I think that was the point like oh making a stop motion will help towards you know make it feel like a book almost oh I had we cracked here. the code <laughs> yeah uh, well, now like... we're in now we're into perspective. Yeah. What did we think of this as kids? What did you think? I have to say, I think I probably watched Mister Fantastic Fox probably more as in like in middle school. Definitely not like mm-hmm. when it came out. Yeah. I think I had a Wes Anderson phase as well, but like really early when I didn't mm. understand what was going on in the live action ones, and I watched this and I was like, stop motion. And I think this is probably what made me want to do oh, my own stop fun. motion. Oh, I also, I feel like <gasps> but Mr. Fox falls into that class of character with Ferris Bueller. Mm. But mm-hmm. Fox has a bit more of a character like Bowie. Like he has yeah. a bit more like of a mm. backstory and stuff like yeah. that. Compared to like Ferris Bueller, who is definitely, he just kind of plops on the scene and mm-hmm. he's Ferris Bueller um yeah but I feel like I like characters like that just with like all that utter confidence behind them and then yeah it's like we know enough about Mr. Fox to know that that confidence falls on nothing else (laughs) yeah he really doesn't have much backing there (laughs) yeah he's very much like he he's he always like I don't know if you guys actually read my column I don't know if you guys actually read my my newspaper column so it's there's definitely something it's all smoke and mirrors for him mm. it's all smoke and mm-hmm. mirrors yeah I feel like as a kid I'd like I don't remember if I saw it in theaters I feel like I might have mm. I feel like as you're a kid, older than me so you probably did yeah I, was, I would have been nine. I was six yeah I feel like I probably did 
but it doesn't it didn't have like a lasting impression I feel like I didn't get it like I feel like I (laughs) was like cool movie but it's the same way of like you know I mean I feel like this is geared towards slightly like like an older audience is probably going to appreciate this more than like a 10 year old child yeah but like same kind of thing of like I go back and I walk watch like wally and i love wally now it's so good like as a kid i'm like that was a movie (laughs) it's like as a kid i was like it's cool but i didn't really appreciate it or get it and like i think when i went back and watched it in high school like when i was watching all the wes anderson stuff i definitely appreciated it more but then watching it this time i think it was my favorite time watching it because i was really like thinking about it and paying attention to it and like you know, the vibes, the world, the music. Right. Here we go. Don't <laughs> stop the music. What did you think of the music? Um, I really great. love the music. Yeah. I love how we said it at the same time. Yeah. I loved it. I mean, we talked about how great the Bogus Buns Mean song is. The whole score, really good. Loved yeah. it. That one boingy instrument, the jaw harp. Love it. I put yeah. song when blowing stuff up. I think they do. They bring back the Bogus Buns and Bean song and make it dramatic with like a choir. Yeah. That was great. Oh. And my other that favorite was the Heroes and film. Villains when they played that. That was the other favorite music moment. Yeah. The, at the end with the dance, the yes. letter dance. Oh. I went through a, a uh, um, when was it? It must have been like freshman year of college. Mm. Where I just was listening to like a Spotify playlist of all the Wes Anderson like music. And so I know all the songs really well, but I have no idea what movies they go to. So it's always just a, a fun surprise to watch a Wes Anderson movie and go, oh my God, Heroes and Villains is from this. <laughs> <laughs> I Sydney, we're we're almost the same because I went Did to you the also, face. Yeah. yeah. I'm listening to this the soundtrack. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the soundtrack uh, mm-hmm. songs. Yep. <laughs> I just, I also, I just love the Beach Boys. I don't know. There's something mm-hmm. about their sound that's just, wow. It's very fun. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The 50s music, I think it also goes to the sort of like aesthetic that all of the Mr. Fox and his yeah are wearing. It's like such a strong kind of like 50 60 70s somewhere in there yeah. of like it's not exactly any of those but it's just like retro <laughs> yes it has the vibe yeah it's very all fun. the orange is very yeah. 70s what the I, oh i wrote down i wrote down davy crockett song at the beginning they apparently oh, played yeah. it. i just had a story about davy crockett um, oh. there was a kid in my grade school that every time davy crockett came out he was like I'm related to him and we could never really prove it wrong but it was one of those like okay kid sure (laughs) but it was like he was very like I am a descendant of Davy Crockett do you think he's maybe one of those kids who are like oh I'm like what's it called a past life (laughs) see he wasn't he there were definitely some kids in my school that were like Combos of liars are always telling things and then there was there were some that were sometimes like that but occasionally would say something true i feel like he wow. probably dressed as davy crockett for halloween one year with like the raccoon hat or i'm just like i could be picking that up but it feels right <laughs> <laughs> shout out to davy crockett kid. shout out to davy crockett kid haven't spoken to him in ages we were never <laughs> really friends but like in a school of seven in a class of 70 kids you know you know everyone okay um, music who 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 is the next one i don't even really have much to say for this one because i forget about this one what this theme? is just like what who would you recast who could you mm. see as this what character would you get rid of or who would you add or any since this is a wes anderson vehicle yeah i feel like timothy chalamet like i I wrote that was the only thing that i wrote down i wrote timothy (laughs) chalamet as the kids one of the kids maybe christopherson the only thing i wrote down (laughs) we are literally like even even thousands of miles away it's wild (laughs) yeah i was like timothy chalamet that's hilarious 
Yeah, I feel but, like yeah, I don't I... remember who voices the girl, but like Saoirse Ronan's in a bunch of his things, so like maybe she's the girl. Mm. If he did it now. Oh, what's Steve the... Carell's think... in his most recent one? I just watched the trailer. I feel I could see him as like some animal. Mm. What's that guy? I my my I brought him up last time. Uh, the guy Renfield, the guy in the new vampire movie. Oh, Nick Cage, Nicholas, Nicholas Holt. Holt. There we go. I feel like he would fit. Somewhere. Yeah, he has a voice. What other Wes Anderson actors are there? I feel like Edward Norton's in a bunch of them. I don't know who he, who he'd be, but make him an animal, <laughs> a hedgehog. <laughs> That's the only animal I could think of off the top of my head. And Delphi Houston, uh, Huston. Mm, How do you say her name? Yeah. A- anyway, Wednesday's mother, him, uh, Mrs. Him, Adams. Her, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> She's a, she's yeah. also in the Life Aquatic. She's the ex wife, mm-hmm. or the wife who becomes the ex wife. I think. Yeah. yeah, I still think it's so fun that he and uh, Wes Anderson and Owen Wilson go way back. Really, they go they way back. They went to uh, University of Texas together and were roommates. Oh, that's so funny. Think, so, like, some of his early movies, uh, they're like co-written. They they wrote them together. I can't remember which ones that are they are. But, like oh that's God. how he's in like bottle rocket and stuff mm. why he's been in all of them but yeah that's one day cool. one day that'll be us <laughs> yeah literally oh my god where do we put the train <laughs> oh there's trains this is another <laughs> yeah <laughs> there... had a train but this one has a train too it's like a in the train table right? oh yeah oh you're right the he train sleeps table. under the train table oh my god there already is one so we don't even need <laughs> If there was an additional train, not to go like snakes on a snakes on a plane route, but like I feel like yeah. if Mr. Fox was on a on the train, I mean, with like the farmers, and they had like a little battle, like where they're running in the train, yeah. like they can't really shoot a gun in the train. Maybe that'd be funny. But yeah. like Wes Anderson style, like you cut the train in half, like very yeah. similar to like how they do. Um, the song at the beginning of the music man on broadway like it's like a train yeah and it's like half the train and you can see the wheels moving yeah. and like the background I you have like that. a little fight with mr yeah. Fox and- or like the when they have like the standoff almost when like mr fox comes to meet them in the town if that was on a train instead of like just like that yeah and you i feel like the I- the movement of it of it's fun I feel like that'd be very Wes Anderson too, rather than meeting up in like some alley. Like yeah. if the Mr. Bean sent a letter like, "Oh, take the f- the five o'clock the five, yeah. train," and to... he gets on the train. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny a fox on a train too. <laughs> yeah, and he gives his little ticket. He's wearing yeah. his little suit. It's really good. <laughs> it's like an old timey like one with like train cars of like the beds, yeah. like the one in Grand Budapest Hotel. Also, yeah. there was a lot of references to like, well, this is before Grand Budapest Hotel, yeah. but there was like on like the dynamite or something written somewhere. It was like Klubeck, and that's the mm. money in the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I wonder if that was intentional of like a oh, this is coming. I guess this is two movies. Grand Budapest Hotel is two movies after this though, because it was oh, Moonrise Kingdom and then that. So I bet. Yeah. I wonder if he's like. Who is it that does something like that? I feel uh, like Tarantino does something like that where yeah, it's like, oh, we always cigarettes. use like, yeah, that it's like has specific brands of like, yeah. those are the movie brands. Yeah. So I wonder if it's something like that. I, th- we I thought I was things. like, wait a minute. We have, yeah. what, are we, what are we rating this out of four paws? How oh, many paws? Four, you know me. I'm always four yeah. out of four. <laughs> it's That's why I'm like, four. I feel like it's the same the same thing as what I said with Groundhog Day of like 3.75 because I'm like I don't know what this magical <laughs> I don't know what this magical four paw movie is mm. but it's like you know I don't you know have what a I'm, brand I don't know what I'm saving it for yeah. yeah my brand is you're either zero or four my brand is just usually higher than is needed if it's something nostalgic <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you have to what's it yeah. called? There's an alert to you finding before pause movie. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, this is close, but what I I don't have another like good. We haven't watched many good movies to compare this to, so. <laughs> <laughs> And Groundhog yeah. Day doesn't count anymore. Groundhog Day not doesn't <laughs> count. Our final thing. Yay or nay. Yes, it does. I got I'm a so bunch. excited. Yay or nay. This was nominated for two Oscars, but only won one of those two. Ooh. I definitely know it was nominated. I know there was mm. a whole big thing. Um, oh, what won Best Picture? No, not Best Picture. Best Animated Picture. Could it have been this? 2009. I'm going to say. So, yeah, it was the 2010 Oscars. What did, oh, 2010s many... Oscars. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because so it came I out. I don't know at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm this is a. An... Yay. Nah. <gasps> oh, my God. It was nominated for two. It lost both of those two. Um, it was nominated oh for Best Animated Film and Best Score, and it lost both of those to Up. Nah, that figures. Yeah, just it was a good year for animated movies because um compared to two thousand nine, Coraline was in there and something else was in there that I was like, whoa. But yeah, (laughs) it was a good year. Okay, yay or nay? CGI was only used in one scene. I'm gonna say yay. No, no, I'm gonna say nay, nay. And what's why? What's your reasoning? Because <laughs> you think more or less? I think there's more because stop motion is hard in general. And I think being a purist is definitely mm. you just want to kill yourself okay. um, if you're a purist. So what is it? <laughs> it's yay. It was only one scene and it was the flooding of the mind. No way. That's crazy. They were just like the water. And I think them in the water when they're all like, ah, down that the pipes. Makes sense. I think it's wow. that. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty pure. I know some yeah. that were like, dang. Yeah. Not me going like pure versus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay or nay? All of the hair is real and it's all animal hair. Oh, I really hope this is nay. So I heard oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that was my answer. <laughs> it is nay, but oh, thank God. it all it is all real hair, but it's not all animal hair. Um okay. the animals have animal hair. The people have people hair. <laughs> they got no. hair from from like the people that were building the like models and stuff, just like their hair. <laughs> I that's a little weird, but also yeah. like if they said it's like fun, but like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Their blood, sweat, tears, and hair. And their hair. Their literal, they put their literal DNA into it. Okay. Yay or nay? Kylie and Christofferson are both added characters, and they're inspired by people from Wes Anderson's life. Oh, my God. I- I'm going to say yay. That would be so cool if that's true. It's nay. It's both. It's a part. Another partial one. Kylie is. Kylie was a handyman who lived in Wes Anderson's first um, New York City apartment, and Wes Anderson had to ask him to leave. <laughs> and his name was Kylie. <laughs> so, oh and then Christopherson isn't also an added character, but he was just named for Chris Christopherson, the like musician. Oh, because they liked him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. so they were both added characters. They were both added characters, From... yeah. That yeah. that makes sense. Because that's... We were talking about how, like... Oh, yeah, I'll do this one next because this is related to it. Okay, yeah or nay. The book ends when they free Christofferson. Oh, so then nay. Yeah. Okay, so it ends oh. with after they steal from the farmers and have the banquet. They maybe get the tail oh. back then. I'm not sure. But the flood, Christofferson in general, like getting kidnapped, the motorcycle part, fighting the rat, the supermarket, all that is added. Um, But the supermarket was inspired by a manuscript that um, they found at Roald Dahl's house, like an original manuscript. And it was one of the original endings and had like sketches and stuff. So apparently oh, so cool. Wes Anderson was like, I don't know how to end this. And then found that at his house. <laughs> it was like, oh, we needed an ending. <laughs> a supermarket, that's fun. 
It's wild that, that this was sense. co-written by Noah um, Bombach Bomb or whoever. Oh. Was it that's married he to? He's married to Greta Gerwig and he did like Marriage Story and like stuff like that. Oh, Francis Tom. Like yeah. He's, he's, he's like a writer. Wait. Damn. Yeah. Because I, th- I believe one of the only things I know about him besides being married to Greta Gerwig is that he was married to Sofia Coppola and they both keep just making movies about their divorce <laughs> from their different perspectives because I think that's I think Lost in Translation is like inspired that and so is like some of Noah no Baumbach's movies I could that's be making that up but I, that's what I'm remembering, remembering so yeah sometimes you know sometimes the divorce is the most romantic part of the, yeah. of the, it inspired of the relationship a lot. yeah <laughs> okay I've got a couple more so yeah or nay this initially lost money oh that makes sense yeah 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 it didn't recruit the production costs and stopped any roll doll adaptations from being made until the bfg which also didn't break even <laughs> oh so well that's, yep. that's 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 unrelated i feel yeah. animation stop motion animation already does bad and then yeah. bfg was just bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yay or nay, this uses Wes Anderson's typical font, Futura Bold, as the, like, titles. Yes. Yay. Nay, it's Helvetica Bold. I don't know why, that's just what IMDb trivia told me. (laughs) Damn. He he said, what's changed it up? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know why this is the one that's different, but apparently it is. Okay, I've got it two more. It looks exactly the same. It does look exactly the same. Yeah, but it's apparently not. <laughs> That's, I think this is the Ferris Bueller font because I'm looking up now and the O's mm-hmm. look very similar. Maybe. It would make sense. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, here and I. The voices were recorded on location. Where? What location could this be? I mean, not like, like oh, the, but like, you know, oh, they're outside or like oh they went to a cave if it was in a cave or like something like that oh Wes Anderson seems crazy enough to do that I'm gonna say yay yeah they went to a farm in Connecticut and recorded like in the barns and the house and the cellar outdoors apparently it was George Clooney's friend's farm (laughs) they went to so i can't imagine them being like did we get room tone oh my god did we get room tone yeah i also (laughs) saw something that there's some shot where a plane flies by and that was because a plane flew by in real life or something and it was that was the audio they had and so they added in the plane and wes anderson was like that made it better (laughs) it made it it's random wow something random (laughs) so random so that is something i, I think i, I know exactly that. where that is i think it's when they're wa- like, they're playing the, the game i think it's like when they're playing the whack bat whack bat and the there's a plane that's like come get the the birds like come to beans farm or whatever i think it's yeah, that and it's right at the end oh my god that's so yeah iconic. i think it's literally <laughs> just like a, a plane went by and they're like this is what we got we gotta throw in a plane now <laughs> I can't imagine. It's really like, great. They, yeah. West, they were like, that's the only good sh- good take they have. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, this is the last one. Yay or nay? Right. Mr. Fox's suit was inspired by Wes Anderson's suits. Oh, we were, we were talking about this. I'm going to say yay because he looks like he's slaying. Probably, yeah. you could put them side by side, probably. Like Mr. Yes. Fox here, <laughs> Wes Anderson yay. there. Even the same fabric he sent, he went to his tailor and said, Give me some fabric, and they sent it over. Not yeah. Wes Anderson going to a tailor. Like, he uh, he's got to have movie. a tailor. He has so many like suits, and I feel like he's got such a look. All the pictures yeah. I see of him are like, he's so. He's dripped out. Yeah. He's got his he's like very Wes suit Anderson. On. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the grand review. finale. My final <laughs> thoughts. 
watch this movie <laughs> yes watch this film it's really it's good if you're a child yeah um, <laughs> i feel like it's not one of wes anderson's like most hyped movies but i really yeah enjoy, really enjoy it who knows if we'll do it's isle cool. of dogs at some point because it's also an animal movie i really enjoyed isle of dogs watch that too <laughs> yeah i like that oh it's like it's so for something like as you said it's not very hyped up but it still has the wes anderson vibe yeah like it's probably even more so since he gets to like build the world from the it's ground literally up. building yeah yeah for real hello again all this is editing sydney back like last time because jillian and i just totally forgot to announce the next movie so next week shannon will be back and we will be talking underdog the super great superhero early 2000s movie um it's gonna be a fun time hope you liked my little drum um and we'll see you next week okay yeah i don't know know what what the end is um plug the instagram plug the the instagram follow us at hollywood podcast you know if you're on youtube watching us check out the audio subscribe if you're on the audio version go to the youtube you know give us those views (laughs) (laughs) maybe we sing the function oh yeah who who are you do you have anything to promote do you have any who what's your account right do you want to like yeah (laughs) i feel like that's what happens with guests on podcasts that's plug, true. plug something what do you have to <laughs> what do i have going on oh um, yeah you, well you can follow me on my instagram at jillian underscore perino perino with an a um you'll put it on the screen yeah. i feel <laughs> yeah. um what's it called what else oh um follow cornell eed We are Cornell Entertainment Engineering and Design, and we basically, we are doing a project this semester, and we also have uh, YouTube, uh, Bert, what's it called? What do you call it? Like, an internet series. We have a web Mm. series coming out about our journey to build a Shirley Temple robot inspired by yours truly, (laughs) <laughs> yeah wait you never I asked you about that and I don't think you responded oh, so why sorry. just because I like Shirley Temples you had once told me that you would go you had gone to a like different restaurants on like a trip and you tried all the Shirley Temples was that you no okay well, well, I think I told you did I tell you because... about their maybe that was me I don't think I specifically did that but I do get Shirley Temples everywhere I'm getting my wisdom teeth out this this week, so good luck. <laughs> That's what's going on now on my Fun. Instagram. Shout out to your dentist. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my oral surgeon. Yeah, she told me my teeth were not right, but this uh, would be the last movie I watch before if something catastrophic happens to me during this <laughs> dental. Don't like, during my dental it. surgery. Don't. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I would. I mean, it's a happy. good movie to go out on. Yeah, watch yeah. it. It's fun. I'm now literally just sitting in the dark because I didn't have any lights on. My one <laughs> light that I had died. I feel like it's time. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, if I die tomorrow, then Mr. Fantastic Fox has been a great film to watch. I feel like that's a solid ending line. <laughs> I agree. Okay.